the voice, people. Yes, we will tell the river. The beautiful, the beautiful river. Gathers with the saints of the river. That flows by the throne of God. And again, yes, we will gather the river. Yes, 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 I'll have it the same side as everybody else, the left side. <laughs> huh? Oh, well, your mum's got it that side. Oh. Well, I'll have it the same side as this then. <laughs> you want to do yours? Yes, please. Well, you need to cut that thing off now. I can't cut it off because I've got your face. Come on, lads, I've got a key. Babe, pass me a key. Can I take off? No, Hi Michelle, come over here Tash. It's Kenny Max. Yeah. 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 This is Jackie. Jackie, that's Sue's wife. I mean, that's Sue's wife. 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 Oh, it's put on top. Yeah. Okay, my dear. We're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we can do that for you. No trouble. Um, someone was, my cousin was saying, if I had it open in the church, but no viewing, to air up, or, uh, and then, but let, there's no viewing, but have the picture. There's going to be no viewing. You don't want to go for that.
Bye bye. Drive love.
You can follow with us, um, John. You're following with us. Can everybody else in the room? Come back outside. You're following with us. Glenn, you're following, you're coming in with us. Is everybody else following on now, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so the lad's going to carry the top in over, and then he can just want to follow on behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're just going to take it to waist height. Hold the hand. Okay, okay. okay. Right. okay. okay. so we need to draw the coffin. Hold the hand. So we're not going to hold the hand. 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 Hold the Step up. Step up.
first, I just want to send my condolences to the family on the loss of a mother, a grandmother, a sister, an aunt, and a friend. Um, we're just going to pray, and then we're going to commence with the service. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you. Father, we give you the glory, for you are still a faithful and good God. Father, our trust is in you. Even when we cannot see it, Lord, we know that you are still working. Father, we honor you, and we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. You can be seated in the, in the presence of God. So I want to welcome you to the homegoing service of Darius Agatha Essen, also known as Dalsey, um, Aunt Dalsey. And we are just so grateful to be here. Um, and one of the things, as a believer, we believe um, that we do not die, but we believe that we go on um, to be with our Father who made us, the one who created us. Um, so we are just so um, thankful that we are able to be here to celebrate the home going because um, we, we're in a place where we know that we're going home to meet the Father. Um, so it is just so grateful and I'm so good that God is still here. And for those that are here, it is so good that you've been able to come to support the family in their time of need. Um, in their time of grief. And one of the things we have to understand is that time, everything happens with time. And family, I just want to encourage you that time is a healer. Um, and, 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 and always rem continue to remember your grandmother, always continue to remember your mother, your sister, and always begin to remember every the good memories that you have from growing up um, until now. Uh, we are going to go into um, our first hymn um, and that is Morning Has Broken. So if we can just stand um, to our feet again um, while we sing this song. Every 
Thank you for being here for mom. We all miss her and love her. Um, before I say the song, I've asked my daughter to sort her poem out for me. And it's something that I told her from me to put together. My eyes, are, my eyes are filled with tears again as I stand here where you lay. I think of you every second but miss you every day. My body is full of sadness that you are no longer here. Pain is only soothed by the memories I hold so dear. My tired heart is broken and doesn't beat the same and it breaks a little more every time I hear your name. My dreams of, of the future will no longer feel this pain. I'll follow you up to heaven and we will meet again. Amen. Thank you, Talia. Brother? Yeah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not run. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He also lead me in the path of righteousness. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Ye for I walk through the valley of shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For thy heart with me, thy rock, thy staff, comfort me. Thy preparest table before me, I'm shaking, I'm just emotionally. In the presence of my enemies, Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. 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 
That is such a powerful psalm, Psalms 23 is a famous psalm and it is well known and we're just so grateful um, and it is a psalm that tells us that we will live in the house of the Lord forever and that he will guide us and he will protect us and that he will renew our strength. So it is such a powerful, powerful psalms and it is one of the um, key holder points for every believer. We're gonna go on to, I believe we have a tribute um, by, please, if I don't pronounce your name correctly, forgive me, Isidore Wilson, um, uh, Isidore Wilson, and it's a cousin. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. So it's better. Hear my cry, O God, and attend unto my prayer. Amen. From the ends of the earth, I'll cry unto thee. But when my heart is overweighed, Lord, lead me to that rock that is higher than high. How do I put into words and into writing all of everything of a woman I call auntie, a woman I come to know and love. Naturally, I can be a speechwriter for other people, but to describe how I feel and what Aunt Delcy has done for me is one of the hardest tasks I've had to take in so far. It was after a family party in Bristol, our cousin Keisha, who came up from Jamaica, and um, was staying with the family in Bristol, came and said, she called and she said, I have someone I want you to meet. The person came on the phone and she said, Hi, kids, this is Delcy. I'm their cat and Donald Mum. The name Delcy clicked back to me as I know I heard my family spoke of her previously in relations with Kingsley. Right away, our connection was formed. She asked where I was staying. I said I was living in Wolverhampton. She asked me what I'm doing so far and who I was with there. I told her I was by myself. And she said, what? And how comes? And then she asked, how long have I been here? And I told her I've been here since 2001. She said, so what, how come we just a not see day here? <laughs> she asked if the rest of the family knew that I was here. And I told her, apart from my cousin Tony, I doubt it as I was staying with my mother's half of the family. And she says, oh, I see. She then said to me, come down when I'm home and come and see me. The following Saturday, Keisha came down to Coventry from Bristol. I was just full of pure joy and excitement because I was going to see and meet my family. So I took the train from Wolverhampton and found my way to Coventry. With Aunt Delcy telling Keisha what I'm supposed to do next when I got off the train, I took a black cab as she instructed from the train station to 32 Torcaster Close, and there was Aunt Delcy and Keisha standing outside waiting for me. And from that first moment in August 2004, she said to me, don't be a stranger, you're always welcome. It was then that I met Althea, Kenneth, then Vivian, and finally Donald. Being an immigrant in this country can be hard, especially when you're alone, and with a mother like mine who worries it every second of the day, to have finally met Aunt Delcy and the rest of the family put her mind at ease and she somehow knew that I would be okay. As time passed by, I would take the train and then the bus. The first time taking the bus, I remember Aunt Delcy come to the bus stop just to actually to meet me to make sure that I got off at the right stop. Aunt Delcy had a great sense of humor. She can and will make you smile or laugh, even at the simplest of things. Sometimes she'll call my house phone and if I wasn't there, she would leave a message. And this sometimes would be her message. Boy, how are you there? You can't walk? We just come back in here. Call me, they can't check up on you. Sometimes I too would prank her. I would return her call and change my voice. And she would say, how would that? I would say, it's me. I'm you. I would say, I'm me, man. 
but she would always come out with cakes, and I'd say, yes, it's me. She would say, I will take the fire. Try to fool me. <laughs> Aunt Dulcie never left me out. Even though she knew I don't like to go out, if there's a family party or family event, before anyone else would tell me, Aunt Dulcie would call and tell me and ask me if me I come. <laughs> Aunt Dulcie, darling, I miss your kindness. Even the way that you were with my friends when they stopped by just to say hello. I will miss your love, a love that you've given freely and unconditional, a love that helped me to build upon with memories that time or years can never irreplace, can never replace or erased. Aunt Delcy, Queen, you're royal. So may the rose ride up to meet you. May the winds always be at your back. May the sun, may the sunshine warm your face, and may the rain fall softly on your fields. Even though I'd like it if you're standing at the front of the house, waving me off, and then me telling you to go back inside. My darling, walk good until we meet again. May God hold you in the palm of his hands. That was very awesome. And one of the things that is so powerful is memories. memories. Memories is something that will never die. Memories will keep you and will keep the, your mother, your sister, your grandmother alive. Hallelujah. We're going to go into our second hymn, um, Amazing Grace. If we can just stand to our feet as we sing this next hymn.
Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, you may be seated in the presence of God. Hallelujah. It is an amazing grace indeed. And how sweet that sound. Hallelujah. We're going to go on and we're going to have a personal reading um, from China, which is the, the granddaughter. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, it's okay. My brother can't be here today. But he's asked me to read a poem and some personal words for what I need. One night, a man had a dream. He dreamed he was walking along the beach with the Lord. Across the sky flashed scenes from his life. For each scene, he noticed two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to him and the other to the Lord. When the last scene of his life flashed before him, he looked back at the footprints in the sand. He noticed that many times along the path of his life, there was only one set of footprints. He also noticed that it happened at the very lowest and saddest times in his life. This really bothered him, and he questioned the Lord about it. Okay. Lord. You said that once I decided to follow you, you walk with me all the way. But I have noticed that during the most troublesome times of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I don't understand why. When I needed you the most, you would leave me. The Lord replied, My son, my precious child, I love you and I will never leave you. During your times of trial and suffering, when you see only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. For me, it's not only being the Lord who's carried me, but my mother, my sister, my niece, and my family. The strength, love, and loyalty and faith we all have in each other was given to us by one great woman, Dalsy. That name brings bows and raises smiles to people all over. Just her vibrant presence alone brings a smile to my face. To hear her voice call me Kiki again would ease my pain, but the guilt I feel is a lifelong stain. Knowing she wanted the best for me and everyone, a life of success, laughs and good memories with family. That's what I will aim to achieve to honour her. Nanny was the best childhood friend I could have asked for. Not once has she let me down. She was always honest to a fault and would defend me to the moon and back. I am forever grateful and forever her grandson. Nanny Darcy, I cannot express fully how much you've impacted on my life or how much I love and I miss you. You're forever in my heart, Kiki. Thank you. Come on, can we clap your hands? Come on, stand to your feet and clap your hands. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to go into a time where we're going to know about the life of our dear Aunt Dalsey. And this is the part where we know the good parts, the funny parts, um, and, and interesting parts, where she came from, where she was born, um, and, 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 and when she descended to be with her father. Um, so we're now going to go on to, I believe it is Sue, you're going to come and read on behalf of Alfia, the daughter. and lovely. Good afternoon everybody. On behalf of all the family, I'd like to thank you all for coming here today to celebrate the life of Delris, aka Dolores, or to most of you, Delcy. I know a lot of faces here today, but for those of you who don't know me, I'm Susie, and I'm blessed and honoured to be able to look upon Delcy as my mother. The next piece I'm going to read out from my sister Alfia. On a glorious day, January the 31st, 1941, Delris Essen, my mom, was born in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. She was an only child to her mother Viola, Nanny Vi, and she had several siblings on her dad's side. 
Nanny Vi came to England first, and whilst Mum loved Jamaica, she longed to be with her mum and try a new adventure and new opportunities. She came to England in August 1961, at just 21 years old, and she lived in Luton, Bristol, and finally settled in Coventry. I always said we were gypsies. She went on to have four amazing children, Vivian, Althea, Kenneth and Donald. Eleven beautiful grandchildren and one beloved great-granddaughter, China. She worked at the GEC for many years and regularly cooked at the West Indian Club at the weekends. If you knew my mum, she always loved to cook and was well known for making her Christmas cakes for everyone to enjoy. There was definitely no shortage in rum for, of, of rum in them, that's for sure. <laughs> she loved going out to parties and socialising and often went on trips with the Domino's team. Words fail me when I reflect on my mum's life and how different it would have been for her had she not to come to England as such a young woman. My mum made sure we always knew how much she cared and loved us. Mum was always there for us and treated us all the same. My mum was an incredible person. She was a very strong and wise lady and she was always there to offer support or help to those who needed it. I've heard several stories in the last few weeks about my mum that I wasn't aware of before, from breaking up fights to even saving somebody's life. She had a great sense of humour and always enjoyed having a laugh and a joke with the friends and family. There are so many memories we have all shared with her over the years, and I am forever grateful for those. Growing up, she used to take us to Luton to visit our family. In more recent years, we all went on holiday to Jamaica, which was a wonderful experience, and she went back and visited St Elizabeth from where she was born. I remember growing up, and as the only girl child, I had to cook the Sunday dinner for the family. There was one Sunday where I was really fed up cooking for everyone, and my auntie Mavis and cousins were coming for dinner. I decided to be bad and add a little extra salt to the rice, <laughs> so that no one could eat it, and I wouldn't be asked to cook again. <laughs> bad girl. <laughs> well, Mum knew exactly what I'd done, and gave me a big plate of the rice, and told me to make sure I eat it, while she cooked another pot for everybody else. Let's say you learn your lesson. <laughs> she would always have enough time for anyone and was a mother like person to everyone she knew. So much so that people would often call her mum. Any child she ever met, she came across, she would always dig into a handbag, rummage around, take a purse out, and give them whatever money or change she'd got in that purse. She loved children and they loved her too. And if we can take anything away from today, let's be good to our little children, please. Yeah? Because that's what Delcy was. I feel lucky to have been her daughter and want to express my gratitude for her for everything she has done for us all. She's left behind family, adopted daughter Susie, godchildren, close friends, and will be sadly missed by us all. My mom, Delcy, was a real legend and will never be forgotten. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you very much. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful life. What a wonderful life. Um, and I can even speak. Um, I remember when I was getting married um, and um, there was nobody else that was going to do the fritters. Uh, <laughs> Nobody else was going to do the fritters apart from Aunt, Aunt Delcy. And I remember um, when she came by the shop and she said, I'm doing the fritters. I'm doing the fritters. And I remember um, at the wedding, so I'm just so grateful um, for having the acknowledgement to even grow um, and even speak with her. Um, and there's never even been a time, an off moment. She's always, those that know her, she's always cracking jokes. She's always making you laugh. And even if, even if your face looks so ash, she will tell you and tell you for um, just a smile um, and, and, and know that the, the day is going to be good. 
Um, so the memories are something that will always, always, always live on. And I want you guys to always be encouraged as a family. Um, you have to encourage each other. Um, and, and even when we look in John 14, um, the, the, the Bible really promises us as believers, um, those that follow Christ, those that know who he was. And I even remember, and I don't think, I haven't shared this with Alta, but I remember every time um, when Aunt Darcy came, she used to always come um, with money and she said, please put this in the offering. Um, she used to always say, please put this in the offering. I can't make it, but please put it in the offering. And I remember there was numerous of times um, where she knew that there was a blessing in giving um, in the house of God. Um, but when we look at John 14, um, 1 to 3, it says, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, you will believe in me also. For my Father's house has many rooms. If there were not so, I would not have told you. I am going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back. And I will take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. And one of the things we have to understand that God has promised us eternal life. God has promised us eternal life. And before he left this earth and he, and he departed and he died and he rose again, he said to us, listen, I'm going, but I'm coming back. I'm going to build a house. I'm going to build a mansion. I'm going to build a place that when I come back, I'm bringing you with me. When I come back, I prepared a house for you. When, when, when I come back, um, you're not, there's going to be no more sorrow, no more pain. But you're going to come to a place where there is joy. You're going to come to a place where angels are singing. You're going to come to a place where you can hear the melodic power of God. And he has come and he has promised us that even though what we may be going through, maybe what we may be experiencing, what we may be facing, we have to know that he has gone and prepared a place for us. And I want to speak to somebody in here that there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. And hope is what will keep you going. Hope is what will wake you up in the morning. Hope is what will make, get you to go to work. Hope is what will get you uh, to continue being a parent. And I know one of the things that even Aunt Dow said, she had hope. She had hope that, that if there was something that she couldn't do by tomorrow, she would be able to do it. And, and we've got to understand that we are now functioning on hope and that we are so grateful that God has promised us everlasting life. And if you believe in him, if you put your trust in him, if you continue to love him, there is everlasting and eternal life. And when we look in Ecclesiastes 3, and it talks about there is a time and season. And, the, and it goes on to say that there is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. So I want to encourage the family as you're going through this. Know that as time goes on, you will begin to heal. And one of the things that, that do not accept from anybody, where they will say, you know, it's time to move on. You will never move on. It is the memories that will keep going. Every time you feel like you cannot go on, just get those photos, look at those photos. You know, you know remember the jokes, remember the things that she used to say to you. Because there was a time where you were mourn and there was a time where you were laugh. And I can guarantee now that she's looking on us 
and she's smiling and I don't know what, what, what mansion she may have but I know that mansion there is a kitchen in there and she's probably cooking now um, getting ready for a feast so we've got to be we've got to be so grateful and so thankful that we serve a God that has promised us an everlasting and eternal life so we are so grateful to even be here and despite of what is going on in the world right now despite that we are still able to come here without restrictions and that we are able to honor the life of Aunt Delcy and we are so grateful that we can stand and that we can acknowledge we, we've had some beautiful tributes we've had a powerful eulogy about the life of her and now today is a day where we are committing her into the Father's hands where we are committing her um, back to the Father from when she came out of breath and she's going back into eternal life so we give God thanks and honour for her life. Can we just stand and give a clap offering for, for, for Aunt Delcy? Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to open it up um, for anyone that has any open tributes. Now, we are, we are very cautious of, of time, so if you have a tribute, please make it quick. Um, so if you've got any tributes, if you want to just pay some last respects, um, then you can come forward. Is there anyone in here that wants to give a tribute? You can be seated. You can be seated. I met Delsey years ago. I, before I go any further, it's just weeks ago we that Delsey passed away. We were talking about Delsey, we said Delsey, Delsey could, could book stone and give it to you and you wouldn't know it's stone. That's how good she was. Anyway, when I met Delsey, she knew me as Bunny. But after she, she had a family named Chippy, told her who I was, she stopped calling my name. Delsey better forget my name. <laughs> my, I didn't know that there's you know, my grandfather in Jamaica. My grandfather was called Bands of Mercy. And the story is that if he saw him with a donkey overloading, 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 he'd take it, take it, take it off and say, donkey free. And she remembered it from those days. So every time I see this, she says, welcome Bands of Mercy. And I go like, no, yeah. <laughs> and she says, are you going to talk to? <laughs> anyway, I don't know if it's legal or not. But let's pay a tribute to Delsey, and it goes like this. <clears throat> Has anybody here seen my friend Martin? Can you tell me where he's gone? He freed a lot of people for the good. Looked around and he was gone. Has anybody seen my friend John? Can you tell me where he's gone? He freed a lot of people. But the good they die young I, I just looked around And he was gone Has anybody here Seen my friend Abraham
I, I just looked around, but he was gone. I said, anybody here see my friend Elsie? Can you tell me where she's gone? She freed a lot of people, but the good they die young. I, I just looked around. She was gone. I, I just looked around and she was gone. May I saw the Is there anyone else that wants? To have a tribute. If if you are coming, please just just come immediately after. Good evening, everyone. My name's Lloyd Lloyd Jackson. I've known Delcy many many years. Uh, I can't even go back. She she was like a mother to me. And uh, it's only today that I found out what her name was. I don't know if this is it's common within, our, within the West Indian community. It's until I, I looked at the, the uh, thing log sheet that I saw what her name was. <laughs> and what was, what was funny about it was uh, I phoned uh, the uh, funeral parlours, or the, I went to, uh, to the, uh, what, the Hubbards to get some flowers uh, sent here. And they said to me, what's, what's, the, na what's, what's the name of the deceased? And I said, well, all you know is Delcy. And they said, well, we, we need to know her first name and second name. And I said, well, I only know it's Delcy. <laughs> I had to make some phone calls and I still didn't know what her name was until I got into the church today. But what, what can I say? All I could say is that uh, I'd like to wish my deepest condolences to the family and extended family. Yeah, I'm sure Delcy's gone to a better place. And what I'll say is that hopefully that her soul will rest in peace. She's gone, but she won't be forgotten. That's all I've got to say. Is there any more tributes? Any more tributes? Are you contemplating? Yes, calm, calm. Good afternoon everybody. I'm not sure what I really want to say, but um, there's a few people from um, my family who's not here at the present moment. A, I don't know if they're still travelling up here or if they've arrived yet. So, um, family comes from, as it's mentioned before, St Elizabeth, Pondside. Beautiful Pondside, St Elizabeth, Jamaica. So, for me as a child, I spent a lot of time with Aunt Vi. We came up with my dad, five children, to Coventry on our way from Nottingham or Birmingham. Stopped off, started off in Nottingham, Birmingham, met the family, visited the family. This went on for years and years and years during the school holidays. Then went down to Luton, visited family. Some of you are here, some of you I haven't seen since childhood, teenage years. You know, as we grew up, we went our separate ways, went to work and so forth. So, um, in the most recent years, my connection with Delcy is when I acquired a job at North Warwickshire and Hinkley <laughs> College. So, I used to come up sometimes every two months, every three months, and of course, North Warwickshire, North Warwick John Hinkey College is based in Nuneaton. And um, at the time, I think I lived in London. I now live in Kent. So um, I think it's Kix who described her to a T. Um, her humour, her kindness, 
her love, her love was enough to bring you up to Coventry, carry you all the way home again, the phone calls, the chat, the story she told about the extended family. Um, really, really fills my heart. And um, I just want to, you know, thank Delcy for everything that she shared with me. You know, all those precious memories, the cooking, the amazing cooking and drinking as well. You know, I always brought a bag up, she always gave me something to carry home and the food was sweet. <laughs> so, um, it's really nice to connect with the family, although it's a sad time. It's a huge family and um, of course I love my family daily. Thank you. Um, as before someone else comes, there is a tribute, um, I believe it's from a cousin in Canada um, and she um, has this to write and I'm going to read it. Um, and it says, to my dear cousin Dolores, otherwise known as Delcy, I was in the closest, I, I was the closest one to my cousin Delcy. I went to the country to spend time with Delcy and my grandmother. I was there for one year and nine months and those memories will never leave me. We shared many memories of playing together and learning together. Darcy taught me so much in my younger days about country life. I spent every summer with Darcy in the country until the age of 14. Many times when I sit back, I think about my younger days, Darcy has always been a part of those memories she has always been a part of my heart. We learned to climb trees together. We learned to cause mischief together. We learned to cook together. We learned to, to, to hunt birds together. We did a lot of growing up together. A month before my dear cousin Dalcy passed away, I called her and it was so lovely hearing her voice. Little did I know that that would have been the last time that I would be hearing my dear cousin Dalcy's voice. When I got the call that my dear cousin Dalcy had passed away, it was like the time, it, it was like time had frozen. Dalcy, you are not gone but never forgotten. You live on through my memories. You still bring laughter to my heart with the memories we share and the conversations that we had. You are deeply missed by myself and the family. Continue to rest in eternal peace. My beautiful cousin, love, Edith. And she put, let not your heart be troubled, but if you believe in God, believe in me also. At my father's house there were many mansions, and if it were not so, I would not have told you. Go and prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, and I receive you to myself, and that is where I will be, where you will also be. And that was from her cousin, Edith. Come on, clap your hands. If there are any final tribute, any tributes, if you can just come. Hello, everyone. Um, I just want to say a quick personal thank, thank you and just rest in peace to a woman who, when I was younger, obviously my nan died. Um, a few years back, a lot of years back, but that Nanny does, she always told me, and it's one of her own, Alfie as well, Alfie is like my second mum. Um, I've always been a lot stronger when I come up and say this, but when I think about the woman that I'm talking about, it, it proper gets to me because she was such a lovely lady, 
unconditional love and just when it comes to her family she always put them first and always always looked out for them and yeah i just want to say rest in peace nanny dalsi and also i know that she was a true believer in god so inshallah she's there Hello everyone. Yeah. I was quite hesitant to come because I know that everyone could have come up here and said something about her. Because this type of person she is, how she was, you know. She adopts people. Everybody that she meets, I know. My sister came from Jamaica. I'll, I'll talk about myself first. The first time I think I met Auntie Delcy was when I'd done her hair. I used to do hair. And she was so welcoming. And I remember I, before I was even finished, she showed the biggest plate of food. <laughs> really big and high. I was about, this is too much. Heat you. Heat up your food. And that'd be foolishness. <laughs> and I just remember that when I was leaving as well, she dished out another container for me to take with me. And that has sort of become the thing. Every time I, I ever even stopped by her, even if she wasn't, if she wasn't cooking, she would put the pot on and she would cook something. She always wants to give you something. And I remember sometimes I feel even guilty taking things from her, you know, she want to pack a bag and she will always insist. You know, it's a type of person. Aunt Vi, the same thing when I met Aunt Vi, her mother. They're just loving, kind family. And you know, I met her children, with, they adopted me in their lives. The last time I saw Aunt Delcy was, I think last year, during the pandemic, about two or three times I bumped into her in the market. And the last, the last time I saw her, she, um, I had a bag on my a knapsack and bag on my hand. But she knew that I have a bad back. And she started, where you go with a big bag by your shoulder? And the back of your hand, you know, say, you have a bad back, you know? And she said, take a taxi and go home. See, see my money, see a five for. I said, no, Aunt Delcy, no, I have money, I have money, it's all right. Me said, we take it. And he said, no, Aunt Delcy, man, me said, me have, it's all right, I have money, I can afford it. I will, I promise you, I will take the taxi. The take money, tap in seven. And anyway, she insisted that I took at five pounds. And I said, all right. And I took the taxi and I went home. That was a last contribution to me. And you know, it, I know everybody feels the same way in here. Oh, just the way you, she's just this person that so kind, so loving, so pure. She just loves people. And that's what she'll be, be remembered for. And rest in peace, I'll tell Is that all the tributes? You have one, sir? Just a short one from the back. Uh, That's okay. Look, I'm one of those people that LC adopted. You speak to a family. I came to Coventry, 41, with a profession not a lot of people like, especially at that time. But she took me to her and she uh, paid me. I don't, and he was Jamaican cooking up until he died. But the only person I could ever think about Belsie was like, and that was my mother. And I couldn't pay no great tribute to her than that. Wherever she is, I know all the pains and her illness have left her, and she's dancing in the grass. God bless you, Elsie. Amen. Amen. If we stand to our feet, we're going to pray um, the closing prayer. Hallelujah. Eternal Father, we thank you 
Father God, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for the life of Darius Agatha Essen. Father God, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for her life, Lord, in where she was born, oh God, Lord, in the country of Jamaica, and Father God, where she is, where she was residing in the United Kingdom. Father God, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, that she was able, oh God, Lord, to have children and grandchildren. Father God, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for all the accomplishments, Father, Lord, that she, Father God, has achieved. Father God, Lord, I pray now, Father God, Lord, over the family. Father, I pray over the sons. I pray over the daughters. I pray over the grandchildren. And Father, I pray, oh God, Lord, that your words will comfort them. Father, I pray, oh God, Lord, that your angels will guide them in this time of need. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. God, that your arms will begin to surround them. Father, let them know, God, Lord, that they are not in this by themselves. Father, let them know, oh God, Lord, that you are there with them in the storm. Father, God, Lord, I declare and I decree over them now, Father. Lord, that this shall be a time, oh God, Lord, where they will live on the memories of their dear mother, of their dear grandmother. Father, right now, Father God, as we've been in this service and we have had a good time remembering her life, Father, now we commit her into your hands. Father, now we commit her into your hands, Father. And Father God, Lord, we actually ascend to you, Father. Father, I, de I declare and I decree, Father, Lord, that there is an awakening between heaven and earth right now. And Father, we give you the glory. Father, we give you the praise. For you are a faithful and just God. And we will continue to worship you in the good times and in the bad. Because no matter what we are going through, you are still God. And Father, I bless the family now. I bless the friends. And everyone, God, Lord, that has been impacted by her life in one way or the other. Father, I thank you, Lord, that she was able to even reach the age that she reached. For there are many in the grave, oh God, Lord, that has not even reached her age. So, Father, we thank you, oh God, Lord, that she had a life of abundance and joy. And, Father God, we honor you. And we reverence you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Can we clap our hands one final time for the life of Darius Agatha Essen? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We're going to leave from here and we're going to go up to St. Paul's Cemetery. Um, and we will commit her there into the hands of the Lord and she will return back to the Father. So if we can get ready to...
now. You guys, you guys. That's it. Lovely. Well done, gentlemen.
things we will prosper. I am placing all bets on you. But baby, don't take my kindness for weakness. Now, baby, don't take my sweetness for weakness. Please don't take my kindness for weakness. Baby, don't take my sweetness for weakness. No, baby, don't take my kindness for weakness. No, baby, don't take my sweetness for weakness. It's Jake Delra, a going night star. Ooh. Red light. I'm in a dance in a dance in a moon. I'm in a dance in dance in a moon. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. I'm in a dance in a moon. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm in a dance in a moon. I'm in a dancing mood I'm in a dancing mood When you feel the beat You got to move your feet You got to clap your hands You got all the soul Deep down inside Cause you Dancing, 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 moon, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You feel the beat You got to move your feet You got to clap your wings Clap your wings You got on the soul Deep down inside Cause you can't hide You can't hide You can't hide I'm in that thing Same mood oh, Let me tell you I'm in a dance in a mood Yeah I'm in a dance, a dance, a dance in a mood Yeah I'm in a dance in a mood I'm in a dance in a mood I feel like dancing all night long I feel like skanking all night long I'm in a reggae mood I'm in a reggae mood I mean, I'm dancing, 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 dancing. Yeah, I mean, I'm dancing, yeah. I mean, I'm dancing the moon. Yeah, whoa. I mean, I'm dancing. I mean, I'm dancing the moon. I mean, I'm dancing the moon. I mean, I'm dancing, dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, 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 dancing. What sort of music was did your mother listen to at her time? She and, and my mother did what was my mother? Calypso. Calypso and Mentor. Mentor. Yeah. You listened to a lot of that? Yeah. What was it like at that time? It was all 
remember any mental songs? Well, in the, the ad was these recorded first because quadrille. Quadrille, you know, but no, they call it mental. Quadrille is a set dance form from 18th century French ballrooms borrowed by the English court and brought to Jamaica by English plantation owners. It filtered down to the slaves who transformed it by adding a distinctive African bounce quality and lively folk mentor style music mix. They used to nice it up them style, you know. Go out dancing. Yeah, I love dancing. I love music. That's where it kind of gets love of music. You're playing music when you're a child. Yes. I give anything for music. The magic word is more from the latest mental band. It's gonna be fine, yeah. It's gonna be fine, yeah. Now you're gonna be mine, yeah. I think I'm gonna swallow my pride and ask you for a dance. Yes, it's cheering me up inside. I think this is your charm. I've been watching you from over in the corner.
Tonight let me take you home I may run things tonight, yeah I think I'm gonna swallow my pride And ask you for a dance Yes, it's tearing me up inside I can't resist your charm I'm gonna swallow my pride And ask you for a dance Yes, it's tearing me up inside <laughs> When you're weary And feeling small When tears are in Your eyes I will dry them all I'm on your side Oh, when times get rough And friends just can't Can't be found Like a bridge Over trouble Water I will lay me down Like a breeze Over trouble Water I will lay just had the celebration of life. This is the part now where we commit her on into the hands of the Father. And I'm just going to read Revelation 21 and it says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth has passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw a holy city and the Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is amongst the mortals. He will dwell with them and they will be his people. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the um, uh, Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things. And I will be their God and they will be my children. So at this time now we're going to com commence her body as she goes on to be with the Father. Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus. Father God, Lord, as this is a resting place, 
until the trumpet sounds and she will arise and be with you again. Father, we know, God, Lord, that you have declared and that you have said that you have created a new heaven and a new earth. Father, at this time right now, I commit this body unto you. And Father God, right now, we declare that ashes will be ashes and dust will be dust. We commence her body now. Family, if you want to um, take some of the dust, you can. We commence it now to our Father. Does any of the family want to do some more of the dust? So Father, now, as an ordained reverend of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I commit her body unto you now, for we know, O oh God, she has returned and is with you. And we just move these planks before you start filling in. Hallelujah, by and by, I'll 
put that one here. Yeah. 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 Put it here. Put it here and turn it facing that way. Yeah. 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 You want to take it up to you, man?
Because we all go in, you've got such a big place like this. But we've just got, you know, our normal studies. We're thinking, and I'm going to just say, no, no, that voice is special. Just for Abdiya. And, and then afterwards, it was years later when she told us what it was. So as soon as the um, Sue started to tell the story, we all, we all started, yeah, do you know what I mean? And it was that shared memory. And then it was how we used to come up to yours. Do you know, oh God, how we used to come up to yours in Dad's family yeah. and he had the two plank of wood across the wheel of Archie's because <laughs> it was a band. 
and you used to say to yourself, you used to try and get in the van quick because if you're in the middle, you're bouncing, bouncing and holding on for sheer life. Have you been anywhere, babe? Not a bit. Yes, no.
Father, we thank you for today. Father, we thank you that we are here to extend our celebration for our Dowsi. Father, um, right now we bless the food, we bless those that prepared it, we bless those that are consuming. And Father God, Lord, we, we call this place blessed, for you are a great God. In Jesus' name, amen. You can be seated. just because you want food, but if you are truly a diabetic, you can also get some food, because not everybody plays that diabetic card, um, especially when you're hungry. So please, the family, um, go forward, and I believe it's the first three, and, and the top table is gonna get served. me and to see the people that have celebrated and be around the family from day one and you're still here to see the end of her time. No words can't say what I'm about to say but it's our memory that will live in peace, love and harmony. Family our friend, don't take life for granted. God bless. Thank you. 
Yeah. From Kingstone to set to set near. That's not that's 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 not that's Kingstone, that's um, St. Andrew in it.
I'm only joking. How are you anyway? You alright? That's enough now.
as a top table eater, have you got food? Everyone on the top table? Just one more? Yeah, 
love camera, don't they? <laughs> oh, they stop crying, don't they? <laughs>
दिखाते हैं
Does anyone know where the Gondolin spot is? The Gondolin spot? Here.